Hey guys, Visiting here, welcome back to another weird video, and today I'll be showing you that I was too busy working on a AI pathfinding thingy thingy thing, I already forgot what the title is, where I take this little armor stand and make, and just make AI pathfinding for it. So if you guys don't know what AI pathfinding is, I can actually give you a easy example. I can get myself a little zombie, and um, I'll use this maze. And I just summon a villager here with no AI colon one. Um, actually, I, I'm kind of forced to make it nighttime now. So the zombie nighttime. And before we get into it, please hit that subscribe. Okay, now, yeah, please hit that subscribe button. So if you see, the zombie has pathfinding AI that actually make tells it which way to go to kill the zombie. So as you can see, it went this way, and then realized it was wrong, and now it's gonna go the right way. It should have went this way, but because it has smart AI pathfinding, it's gonna go the right way to kill the villager. Oh no, poor villager. Don't worry, I'll save you. Oh, I think I'm too late now. Oh, that I made it, what? Am I in hard mode? Oh, that's surprising. And then the zombie's gonna leave. I don't know, do, why is he gonna leave? So yeah, that's AI pathfinding. So, I wanted to replicate that for a, to solve the maze. I don't know why I did maze first, I could've done something else. So, you know, I have some command blocks here that I wrote in February or March. So this one makes it move forward and stuff. This one resets it. I, this is like turn right and stuff. I don't know if that, any of that works and now. Then I actually was using a new thing where it, I, because there's one issue that I have still and that's that there's these non-solid blocks that for some reason command blocks think they're solids and there's no tag for it that shows that it's not a solid, which is still annoying. So I have to figure out a way to detect if it's a solid or not. And one way I found out was two ways is that you can use an arrow and if it's in a block it will have a tag that says it's in a block or you can use a snowball and if the snowball uh, if the snow snowball breaks that means it's in a block and if the snowball is still there that means it's a solid and i made this one where it will jump if there is a um i mean this is not perfect but it will jump if there is a solid in front of it. I mean, it's jumping now because this arrow is spawning here in the front of the uh, armor stand. I have to still work on this. The one problem I have with this is that the arrow, you can't make it invisible, which, which um, it's annoying. It's very annoying because actually this, um, all of this, I actually want to use in three other command block projects because it's, it's a game changer. It's, it's, it's so much better and it's, it, it, it does require more entities and stuff, which means you might lag a bit more, but it's more accurate and it's so much better, but it's not, um, I can't make it invisible and I'm, I'm really pissed about that. It's like, I tried everything. You can't even use a potion to make it invisible. I don't know. Like, so I think if I have to use this. I'm just going to get a texture pack and make the arrow invisible and call it a day. So, I made this first maze. And I'm going to put my little bot here. And I'm going to make it go to the middle with four of these. And now, thank goodness I wrote signs. This one's going to make it move forward. I mean, first it's going to check if it's like a space that I can move forward. Then it's going to, if it's stuck somewhere, it can't turn left or right, it will turn around. Um, if there, if it's, if it can turn right, it will turn right. If it can turn left, it can turn left. Now, when I made this, I went by the thing, um, by the claim that if you hug the left wall, if you always hug your left wall, you will always make it to your des uh, you will always make it to the end. And as you can see, that's somewhat true, though I made mine right first. Which I think is also true. If I hug the right wall, I will go here, 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 here. Um, it will still go. We're still hugging the right wall. 
it's a bit longer, but eventually you will make it to the uh, center. Now, if you're a maze maker, you could exploit that and make it not work, like this maze that I made recently. This one, you're if you hug the right wall, you're kind of stuck in this loop. I think, yeah, you're kind of stuck here. And if you're doing the left, I think you can also get stuck here or you get stuck somewhere else. I just, I don't remember. But if I run this one, I have it. And I'm going to make, uh, we can make it slow. So it's going to, yeah, so it's going to go. It's going to get stuck. It's going to turn around. It's going to keep going. And it, it does a little bit of block. Like, it, it like jumps a little bit. I don't like that it jumps. And I couldn't figure out why it's jumping. I don't know what I did, but. I know I, I was I remember I was making this in I think March and I was like oh I'll just make a jump to fix another issue because I ran into like multiple problems with this um, bot and and this is gonna f and little did I know this is gonna foreshadow me in this um, place I'll show you that in a bit so it will actually make it and I don't have a reward for the bot so it just it just goes in circles so sad such a sad bot okay good okay you can turn it off so it works i could have ended there and made the video then but then you know i got busy with other stuff and i wanted to improve this a bit more and months go by and we were <laughs> and i came back to it and we i built this one a little bit more complicated um and more annoying for the bot and i tried this one here you go. I'm going to use the old one again. I, I tried the old one. Actually, I'm going to make you go much faster. And you're going to see a problem. Watch. It's going to work now. And I'm going to get so upset. Because it didn't work the first how many times I used it. So it's going to go. It's, it's going through the maze. Doing a good job. I should have put some type of indicators of which way is the correct way. If it turns around, it's going to go this way. It's getting stuck at the backwards F. I, I just noticed that now who did that who put a backwards F now it's stuck here it's in the infinite loop here and it's over my whole career is now done I have to give up now it's like it's all over for me now what do I do well funny enough <laughs> I took a computer science class about this and what we learned it's so funny because I was learning this in April I think it was like in April so I, when I was learning about it I was like oh my god I could use this for my a AI pathfinding bot in Minecraft. This this is genius. I definitely didn't spend so much money on a college course just to do this for Minecraft. But I did, I guess. I mean, it, it just came out of, as a coincidence. But So, there's a few ways we can do this. We can, one, give the, um, the bot memory and make it remember which way it goes. But I'm no Minecraft expert of how to make memory with command blocks because that's probably going to require a chest or stuff and then you're gonna memorize like which block and coordinates it, the bot went on and all that dumb stuff and I'm, I'm too dumb for that I mean I could do it I could do it but maybe for the, the the easy one but this is already too easy and it's not gonna work and in the real world I don't think this bot's gonna be solving mazes I in the end of the day I want this bot to be a bedwars bot that can attack me yeah, basically, that's that's basically the main goal. I want this bot to attack me in Bedwars. Yeah, I, I know. I started this project in February. <laughs> that's the end goal. Okay, so let me turn you off. So what I want is I have this armor stand here. And one way I figured out and I learned in class is that you can have the bot drop string or like some something behind it. So it remembers that the bot went in, like it went here. So when the bot is looking for another way, it will know it will know that it went this way before, and it won't go that way again. Now, how I made it is they put string everywhere, but the best way we should done it is that at at like here, like at these things. If it's if it's no if this is a dead end, it should put a block here. I mean a an item here telling the bot that this is a dead end. Might as well avoid it. This is the starting area, so you might as well block these off. 
And then eventually it will know that all of these will be dead ends and there's only one good way to make it to the end. But that's a bit more complicated and that's going to require too many command blocks. So what I have is that it will drop items, diamonds. I don't know why I made diamonds. I guess it has a loose, uh, it has a hole in its pocket and it's dropping coin. And it will, every time it turns, it will check if um, an item is um, on the left or right side. I think I did only right side for this one. So if there's nothing, I won't get a diamond. If I put a diamond there, it will give me a diamond. Now before, I made it slightly wrong. And if there was a diamond on him, it would, al it would also give me a diamond, which is not good. Oh, is there a village there? <gasps> a village, guys. Oh my god. How come I didn't notice that until now? I'm getting distracted. So now it will detect like diamonds on the floor. And I went through four different ones. So this one is the move forward. Um, I already forgot what. Uh, turn around, turn right, right? What is this? Yep, turn right, turn left, and drop an item behind it. This one didn't work because it gets stuck somewhere. Because now I can give you the foreshadowing thing. Where if the bot, you know, the bot like magically moves an extra block when it turns right or left. This gave you, this gave my bot a little issue where in these situations where it does do that, it won't drop an item directly behind it. It will drop it one forward or left and the bot will always get stuck here. Now I could have cheated and uh, got rid of this area and it would have easily done it, but I made the maze and I was too lazy to just... You know, it's too lazy to do this. I was, uh, you know, one extra block. I mean, it's just a challenge, you know, just a challenge. So that didn't work. Then I was like, oh, maybe I'll drop the item first. But then the same issue came where it will actually land on its own diamond and crash. And then I realized that I made a mistake here. Then I made a new one. This one diamond, diamond, diamond where I just drop multiple diamonds everywhere and that still doesn't work because it, the bot's stupid and uh, I mean it's my fault I'm the one who made the AI so I made it dumb so now I made this newer one where um, wow I'm talking so, so long so it turns around it drops a diamond it will turn right if it's possible it will drop a diamond it will turn left if, it, if it's possible it would drop a diamond it will move forward and then drop a diamond again now, you could have I could have done this in five command blocks, but for some reason I can't figure out why. I can I just cannot figure out why the bot goes from here instead of going up here and turning, it just immediately goes here and turn. I just can't figure out why it does that. And I remember in March, I was coding it to do that. I just can't remember which command block it is. It might be it might be a different command block somewhere else that does it and I it's, it's gone. I don't know where it is. I left a book in here. Well, past me was very smart and wrote it in a book. But me, in the future, didn't realize there's a chest here. Okay. So, let me actually show you now what this latest does. Here you go. It goes super fast and it's just dropping diamonds everywhere. Now, there's a little bit of a weird glitch where it actually throws diamonds. But it's okay. At least... It, it, it goes on a slightly different path, but here at least it sees the diamond and actually doesn't go there. So it like turns around and sees there's a diamond there and actually will keep going forward. And it will actually make it to the end and for some reason it just decides to escape. I, I, it's like the boss like, I don't want to be held hostage anymore, I want freedom. I mean, I don't know which way you're going to go. If you keep going this way, you're going to hit that command block over there and then you're stuck again. I don't know. So, there it is. This is actually, I actually really like this. You can see the, um, the path that the bot has taken. And it looks super cool. I don't know, I, I mean, I use diamonds. I feel like that's the best thing. And then, for some reason, it escapes. I think it's one of the weird, it's yet again a command block that I goofed up somewhere. No, actually, I know what it is. It's the turn right. It doesn't check if there is a block in the way. It just, no, it does. It does check if there's a block. But, I, but... I think because it's checking, I think the move forward thing overruns and then it just messes up. So I still have to do work on more improvement, but all of this doesn't really work in the real world. Like if I use this in um, 
as a Bed Wars bot, it's gonna be dropping diamonds everywhere. It's just gonna be weird. I could drop like invisible arrows or like um, some small entity, like a like a invisible armor stand entity everywhere. But then that just that's like how many? Look at how many diamonds there are. There's so many, so it's not worth it. So this is just for ma maze solving. We have I have another technique of making this work, you know, better in like the real world situation. So yeah anyways guys hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit that like button down below if you're new to my channel hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the next update when i make a better bot and it'll be good enough that i'll be get better at bed wars or something i don't know it, it it could be a survival bot too who knows just running with the command blocks so yeah anyways guys hope you enjoyed this video hit that subscribe button and yeah anyways guys hope you enjoyed this video and bye guys